Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Do you want to crush your language learning goals and overcome setbacks on the road to mastering a new language? In this video, you'll discover why learning goals are so vital to learning a new language and overcoming the inevitable setbacks you'll encounter on your way to mastering the language. Here are some useful strategies you can use to crush your goals. First, switch to strategic goals rather than general internal motivation. People are motivated to learn a second language for any number of reasons, including personal enrichment, better career opportunities, or even meeting new people. However, unlike simpler goals, which may only take a week or two to complete, learning a new language takes time and there will be occasional setbacks and failures. So to reach your overall objective of mastering a new language, you need to learn how to motivate yourself and stay focused on the bigger picture. To do so, it is vital to set specific strategic goals with an action plan. Second, reasons learning goals are vital to success. Learning an entire language well enough to carry on full conversations with native speakers is certainly a goal. But with this as your primary objective, there's a long period of time between the time the goal is set and when it can be realistically attained. The problem is that a failure to achieve an objective creates stress that can build until you either reach the learning goal or quit. The solution is to set more realistic strategic learning objectives that are easier to attain but still keep you on track to learning. Here are some examples of strategic learning objectives that you might set on your way to mastering a new language. Study for 10 minutes every day. Complete one lesson or chapter each week. Learn 20 new words each week. Or even learn one new word each day. The key here is that your learning goals and objectives need to be very concise, attainable, and relevant to your overall objective. As long as you can see progress towards your learning goal, your stress levels will be lower and you're far more likely to succeed. Next, to learn a new language or virtually any new skill, you'll need to make adjustments to your routine. Simply telling yourself that you want to be able to speak fluently probably won't force you to alter your daily or weekly routines. But when your strategic goals include learning a new word each day or a lesson every week, you're forced to alter your schedule to reach the goal or risk certain failure. Although altering your schedule may cause some minor degree of stress at first, the added motivation you get from achieving goals quickly eliminates any initial discomfort. And the more strategic goals you complete each day or week, the faster you can achieve your larger goal of mastering the language. The key to achieving goals includes learning how to deal with the inevitable setbacks and failures. The great part about setting smaller, attainable, strategic learning goals is that you can occasionally miss your objective, but quickly make up for it. So if you can't finish a lesson one week, it's entirely possible to either learn the lesson the following week or even do two lessons to make up for the initial failure. The point is that failing to achieve smaller strategic learning goals won't kill your motivation or derail your overall objectives. There are many ways to crush your language learning goals using our program. First, check out our custom learning paths, which are based on your specific goals. Learning paths are designed to help you reach your specific learning objectives by providing you with step-by-step -step strategic goals. So imagine you're about to travel and just wanted to learn enough essential language to navigate any potential emergency situations you might encounter. Our language learning program has created a custom learning path for your goal that includes just 10 lessons or strategic learning objectives. Once you complete the 10 lessons, your larger overall learning goal is complete. Learning paths are one of the most powerful features at our website and help you quickly and efficiently achieve larger learning goals and objectives. For Premium and Premium Plus members, our website offers more than 20 advanced learning tools to make it easier than ever to reach and achieve your goals. These include teacher feedback and comments for every lesson, full lesson transcripts and review tracks, voice recording tools to perfect your pronunciation, lesson review quizzes, and much more. Our language learning program makes it easier and more convenient to achieve your smaller strategic goals so you can quickly reach your larger overall objectives in less time and with less stress. Without setting realistic and attainable learning objectives and goals, your larger dream of mastering a new language might never be realized. Specifically, strategic objectives help to reduce stress, adjust your daily routine, and make it far easier to deal with the inevitable setbacks on your way to mastering a language. We've made it simple and easy for you to set and attain your strategic goals so you can successfully reach the larger goal of mastering your target language. 
So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Sunbrille, sunglasses. Saidi moist sunbrille. She has the most beautiful sunglasses. She being me, I definitely do. They're very comfortable. It's really nice if you have this little string thing to keep them there because then when you're on the beach, it's a kind of cloudy day like today. You don't really need them, but then every now and then the sun just peeps out at you and you just go, voila, I can see. But not today because it is cloudy and I don't really need them. Strand, beach. We're going to Durban Beach tomorrow. Well, if you are going to Durban Beach tomorrow, lucky you. That's the nicest place where the water is all nice and warm and you can swim and the sun surrounded by lovely, wonderfully happy people. So if you're going to Durban Strand tomorrow, then you're a really lucky person. I'm not at Durban Strand and the sea here is a lot colder, so I won't be swimming today. But if you go, enjoy. Swim. Swimming. Ek swim in the sea. I'm swimming in the sea. Clearly, like I just said, I'm not swimming in the sea today because it is freezing here. But if you're at the Durban Strand, then the sea is where you want to be. Ocean. Ocean. The ocean is mooi in blue vandaag. The ocean is nice and blue today. Well, it's it is. I mean, I don't know if you can see very well, but it's beautiful and blue. A lot of those times where. It's like spring tide or something and then the water goes all murky and brown and ready but not today and not most of the time so if you're at the ocean if you're at the strand uh, have a look at the sea see what color it is try to decipher what shade of blue it is I love playing that game and then you get everyone around you to say a color and then you actually search the color and see which one of you got the closest one I never win but um it's, it's quite nice to notice the little things, so notice the actual colour of the ocean water or the sand around you or even the plants and things on the tree. Like notice what their little leaves look like, what the little bird walking on the sand's little feet look like. These little, little details really add to having the most wonderful, fulfilling beach day experience. So check out the sea, check if it's blue and if it is, then Lucian is moy and blow. Reis in die buitenland. To travel abroad. Ek hou daarvan om in die buitenland te reis. I like to travel abroad. I love to travel abroad and I, I bet you do too. I mean, I think everyone does. If South Africa is abroad for you, then you'll love it even more to travel abroad over here <laughs> and do all the things and see all the places and meet all the people and yeah. Traveling is the best. You're seeing new cultures, learning new languages like Afrikaans. Um, race, travel, do it all the way, all the time, as much as you can, while you can. Ontspan op die strand. To relax at the beach. Hulle geniet dit om elke dag op die strand te ontspan. They like to relax on the beach every day. Who doesn't like to relax on the beach every day? On a sunny, wonderful day where it's not too hot, it's not too cold. We're just in the perfect temperature. The water's a bit cold over here. Depends on which strand you go to. But what's spun up the strand is such a summery thing. Such a thing that you should definitely know how to say if you're planning on spending the summer in South Africa. Because a lot of us do it. There's a lot of these surfer people everywhere. So enjoy it. Enjoy your what's spanning up the strand. Om Afrikaans te leer op afrikaanspod101.com To learn Afrikaans on afrikaanspod101.com Dit is lekker om Afrikaans te leer met afrikaanspod101.com It is fun to learn Afrikaans on afrikaanspod101.com Well, of course it is. We're here right now, aren't we? I'm in summer 
isn't it? Um, so if you're here, watch these videos, learn these things. In the summer, it's Lacket de Leer Afrikaans and on AfrikaansPod101.com. And then you can go out in the evening or in the day or the next day and use the things that you've learned. So what a better time to do it is when you're here and what a better time to be here than in the summer. Om te leer Suid-Afrikaanse kost te maak. To learn to cook South African food. Sy moet leer hoe om Suid-Afrikaanse kost te maak. She has to learn how to cook South African food. I think everyone should learn how to cook South African food because South African food is a yummy. There's so many, we're quite big on the meats and the veggies and the yummy barbecued dishes. So I think it's a must. It's a love. And it's a great thing to do. It's good to learn it. It's good to eat it. So if you learn it, you can make it and eat it. So it's a win-win. A braai te hee. To have a barbecue. Dit is lekker om elke naweek te braai. It's nice to have a barbecue every weekend. If you're South African, you definitely will be having a braai every weekend. I know I do. It's such a thing, like I was just saying, about the meat on the barbecue. It's very, very South African and you can't come to South Africa or you can't know South African peoples, people who don't have a braai alka naviak. It's just great atmosphere, great jaw, have some drink in the hand, the sun in the sky, braai. Very, very lovely. Nice memories. Nice memories to make. Nice memories to remember. <laughs> just have a braai. Sand Castile. Sand Castle. The Kanishbo is Sand Castile. The children are building a sand castle. Who doesn't love building sand castles on the beach? You don't have to be a child to do it. I actually did it yesterday with a little kid. So I was playing with him, but I think I was the one enjoying it more than he was. You can build big ones, small ones, lots of little ones, add them all together. You can make those drippy ones with wet sand. Like sand castles are endless creations of fun and creativity. So if you don't like building a uh, one with a bucket and a spade and all that stuff and you're one of the looser creative types you can use your hands use tools the best thing about sand is you can do almost anything with it so go when you're next to the beach go make a spectacularly amazing sand castile and show your friends take a photo post it on instagram do whatever but most of all, before doing all those things, just enjoy it. It's such a nice thing to just play with your hands and do things and make things. And it's such a nice stress relief. So not only are you in the fun, in the sun, having fun, swimming in your Niva swim group, using your hands, stress relief, creativity. It's just what a better way to spend your day at the beach than making sand custom. Getai. Tide. Die getai is baie hoog vandag. The tide is very high today. Well, actually, it's not where I am right now. It's actually quite low tide. But yesterday, it was such a hoog day. I came to the beach and we could only walk on like this much sand because there was so much water everywhere. And sometimes it's nice to be here at low tide because there's lots of sand for you to walk on and play on and run on and do whatever you want to do on the beach. But actually, it's also really nice to come in the hoog day because then you're seeing all the little bubbles and all the little snails that come out of the ocean and the whole beach becomes alive because there's so much life in the water that's now surrounding the beach that you're usually running on. So it's quite cool that it changes so much in one day, but that space of sand is enjoyed by not only us when it's low tide, but also by all the little sea creatures living in the sea sand that we don't really notice until it's work day and they come out and swim and play and whatever. So it's quite a cool thought to think of, don't you think? Om fiets te rai. Om fiets te rai. To ride a bike. Om fiets te rai. To ride a bike. Om fiets te rai spaar geld. Riding a bike saves money. It really does. You don't have to pay for petrol, you don't have to pay for car insurance, you don't have to pay for any of those things. All you have to pay for is a helmet, some little lights, maybe a bell and your bike, and then voila, you're right there, you've got your exercise in for the day, you're not contributing to pollution, 
and you feel better. People smile at you as you drive past and you get to work with a smile on your face because you have those endorphins pumping. Just ride a bike. It's better for you, it's better for the environment. Win, 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 like I always say. <laughs> Om te gee vir die omgeving. Om te gee vir die omgeving. To care for the environment. Om te gee vir die omgeving. To care for the environment. Meer mense kan omgee vir die omgeving. More people can care for the environment. If we teach our children to, if we stick to all the rules that we've just been through, then yes, maybe we can encourage and inspire others to be like us, to do the same things, to be those earthy people that makes everyone cringe a little bit, but also have so much pride for, because they're the ones that, after all, are, they're the ones that can make a difference in this world. Om energie te spaar. Om energie te spaar. To save energy. Om energie te spaar. To save energy. Daar is baie maniere om energie te spaar. There are many ways to save energy. There's many ways to save energy. For example, it's so easy when you leave your bedroom, switch the light off while you're brushing your teeth, close the tap while you're brushing and then just quickly rinse your toothbrush again afterwards. We're not just talking about electricity here, we're talking about anything that you can save, anything that's left on when it doesn't really need to be, switch the TV off, switch the radio off if you're not really listening, if it's just a little bit of background noise. Saving energy can save so much. Not only does it save you money, but it'll also save all the extra things going into the air that we don't even know about. So just try, switch the light off next time you leave the room, or like I said, don't leave taps running. Water is so scarce. Um, if you're not used to it being scarce, come live in Cape Town. <laughs> Om a boom te plant. Om a boom te plant. To plant a tree. Om a boom te plant. To plant a tree. Kinders geniet dit om a boom te plant. Children enjoy planting trees. Not only children. I also love planting trees. What a nice way to add, to give back to our mother earth. People don't plant trees often enough. People cut them down left, right and center. Make me a house. I need some wood. Cut me down a forest. No so easy just go to the local nursery buy a little plant buy a little tree go find a piece of ground and stick it in it's so easy and it helps our earth and it helps the air we're breathing be a little bit more clear planting trees is such an enriching experience so much more than people think so if you have children if you have a niece or a nephew or your friend has a baby not a baby a child um, take them to plant a tree, watch how much they enjoy it, watch how much you enjoy it, and then try and make it a ritual. Do it every week, do it every month, do it every year. It doesn't have to be that often, but if every person plants a tree, think about the big difference that we can all make. Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Have you gained weight recently? Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Have you gained weight lately? It's quite a harsh thing to say to someone. Something you should learn but not say. Um, know it so that if someone tells you, you can be like, no, I haven't, thanks. And it's got none of nothing to do with you anyway. And if you have, who cares? Like, love yourself, love your body, and ignore people who ask you if you've picked up weight. Jy het a grys haar. Jy het a grys Haar. You have a grey hair. Jy het a grys haar. You have a grey hair. This is quite scary, especially if you're getting a little bit older, but not that much older, and you're finding a grys haar, and you're like, ah, my life is going so quickly. But it's not the end of the world. It's fine. Just pluck it out, or dye it, or actually just own it. Go grey. Grey is the new black. Well, I don't know. It's grey is the new grey, but... <laughs> Own it. Own yourself, own your body, own your hair, own everything. It's making you a happier person that way. Ek het jou gesê, ek het jou gesê, I told you so. Ek het jou gesê, I told you so. Hate hearing this from people because it means you were wrong and 
Akijakase it sounds so condescending, but if you're the one to say it, you're feeling a little bit better. So I guess it's one to learn um, and hopefully use. Jij is afgedank. Jij is afgedank. You're fired. Jij is afgedank. You are fired. So this one is quite terrible. No one really wants to hear that. And unfortunately in Afrikaans, it doesn't even have that punch like, yes, afgedank doesn't really sound as much as you're fired. But you, if someone says that to you, I'm really sorry. Good luck finding a new job. Um, and maybe ask why so that you can change something, I guess. Dit is nie jy nie, dis ek. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Another one that we definitely don't want to hear if you're in a relationship and they're ending things with you or telling you something and it's it's not you, it's me. Ugh, you're right, it probably is you, but... They're just trying to be polite. But if you're using this one, maybe don't. Like, learn it in Afrikaans. Did this need need this act? But don't use it in that way because most of the time it's just something that softens the blow, but it doesn't really actually do that. More. More. Morning. Ek gaan more kom keier. I'm going to come visit tomorrow. This one has a r like before. It's a little bit easier, but it just, you have to remember to read more because in English it's spelled like more. So don't say more, say more. And the older generations of Afrikaans people, they might say it a little bit differently and they sometimes say more, but it's more commonly used as more. Lekker. Lekker. Nice. Delicious. Die kos is baie lekker. This food is very nice. This word is a must. You must learn how to say this word. Lekker. Lekker. Because it is used all the time in South Africa. Everything is lekker. Not just the course that we were just talking about. The weather is lekker. The party was lekker. The drink is lekker. My friends are lekker. It's just a word that we use all the time. So it's definitely lekker to know the word lekker. Roll. 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 Die pen het gerol. The pen rolled. This one is funny because roll, roll, all you have to do is roll your tongue on your mouth so it makes the r sound like before. Roll. It's quite nice to say actually if you say it a couple of times in a row. Roll. Gek. Gek. Crazy. Die man is gek om te springen. The man is crazy to jump. You're saying that because you're watching some bungee jumping show or someone jumping out of an airplane. They are gek. And gek is also a bit of a gek word to know because it's of the ch sound and the ek, which means me. So it's like you're saying you are gek, but you're not really. But it's a gek word. It's a gek lekker word. Crazy nice word. Lach. Lach. Laugh. Ek lach elke dag vir my hond. I laugh at my dog every day. Lach is such a lekker word. Um, to laugh is such, it's the greatest thing ever. So it's important to learn this word because maybe learning how to say it will make you laugh and then you'll have a happy memory and remember the word and it's a win-win situation. Ras. Ras. Noise. Die bure ras baie. The neighbors are very noisy. Just like me sitting here in the park today where there's a lot of people around me having picnics and everything and there's, there's quite a lot of noise going on, but at least the ras isn't too much for me to make this lovely video and teach you some Afrikaans. So, ras. Who gaan dit met jou? Who gaan dit met jou? How are you? Who gaan dit met jou? How are you? So now in the conversation, you're at that part where you've realized that they have a cool name, they seem pretty cool, and you want to know a little bit more about them. So you ask them, who gaan dit? 
And then remember to listen because people always say this and then don't listen to the response or don't really care about the response. Only ask these things if you care because it's, it's way nicer that way. Goed dankie en met jou. Goed dankie en met jou. I'm fine, thanks. And you? And then the typical response, or hopefully the response because it's positive. Goed dankie en met jou. Goed dankie en met jou. I'm fine, thanks. And you? So that obviously follows the previous one. Um, answering how you are doing and then asking back to the person because that's only polite. You don't want to be like, yeah, I'm fine, thanks, bye. You want to be polite, ask them how they're doing back if they asked it first. Otherwise, maybe don't say it if you asked it first because then it's just like a continuous cycle that's never ending. Asseblief. Asseblief. Please. Asseblief. Please. Very popular in South Africa because we're all very polite people here but please remember see I said it there again please remember to be polite when you're asking for something or commenting on something that requires a please no it'll be a question so be polite remember your manners and say us a belief if you are looking for something donkey donkey thank you Danke. Thank you. So there we go again with the politeness. Be very kind and warm when someone tells you something or compliments you or gives you an answer to that as a belief question that you just ask. Say thanks. Say donkey. And if you can't remember the word, think of a donkey. That's how I always used to tell people. And then just change the, the sound a little bit because you can't say donkey. You must say donkey. Yes, welcome. Yes, yes. Welkom. You're welcome. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. So that's the response if someone said danke to you, you're obviously going to say you're welcome. Jij is welkom. Because it wasn't such a schlep for you to tell them what they wanted and you don't mind telling them. So jij is welkom. Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Heet jij onlangs gewig opgedaal? Het jij onlangs gewig opgetel? Have you gained weight recently? Het jij onlangs gewig opgetel? Have you gained weight lately? It's quite a harsh thing to say to someone. Something you should learn but not say. Um, know it so that if someone tells you, you can be like, no, I haven't, thanks. And it's got none of nothing to do with you anyway. And if you have, who cares? Like, love yourself, love your body, and ignore people who ask you if you've picked up weight. Jij hebt een grijs haar. Jij hebt een grijs haar. You have a grey hair. Jij hebt een grijs haar. You have a grey hair. This is quite scary, especially if you're getting a little bit older, but not that much older, and you're finding a grijs haar, and you're like, ah, my life is going so quickly. But... It's not the end of the world. It's fine. Just pluck it out or dye it or actually just own it. Go grey. Grey is the new black. Well, I don't know. It's grey is the new grey, but <laughs> own it. Own yourself. Own your body. Own your hair. Own everything. It's making you a happier person that way. I get you gesê. Ek het jou gesê. I told you so. I get you gesê. I told you so hate hearing this from people because it means you were wrong and it sounds so condescending but if you're the one to say it you're feeling a little bit better so I guess it's one to learn um, and hopefully use <laughs> Jij is afgedank Jij is afgedank You're fired Jij is afgedank You are fired So this one is quite terrible no one really wants to hear that. And unfortunately in Afrikaans, it doesn't even have that punch. Like, yes, afgedank doesn't really sound as much as you're fired. But you, if someone says that to you, I'm really sorry. Good luck finding a new job. Um, and maybe ask why so that you can change something, I guess. This is not you, this is 
Dit is nie, jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Dit is nie, jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Another one that we definitely don't want to hear if you're in a relationship and they're ending things with you or telling you something and it's it's not you, it's me. Ugh, you're right. It probably is you, but they're just trying to be polite. But if you're using this one, maybe don't. Like, learn it in Afrikaans. The Disney yay need this act. But don't use it in that way because most of the time it's just something that softens the blow, but it doesn't really actually do that. Dankie vir jou CV, ons het die posiesie gevul. Dankie vir jou CV, ons het die posiesie gevul. Thank you for your resume, however the position has been filled. Dankie vir jou CV, ons het die posiesie gevul. Thank you for your resume, however the position's already been filled. Unfortunately, you've just been fired and now you're trying to find a new job and they're telling you that there's no more new job left and you're just not in a great space. And I'm really sorry if you're in this space. Um, I'm just wishing you all the best of luck and hopefully you never have to hear these things. I'm sorry. Ons moet ander mense sien. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. This is almost as bad as the it's not you, it's me thing. Um, except it's a little bit more open and honest and just telling people how you feel. So I guess if you're in that position, remember how to say, ons moet ander mense sien. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. That sucks if it's the end of the month and you've kind of run through all your spendings have been high and you've run through all your savings and your boss tells you that they don't have your geld vandag and it sucks and means you're going to have to be living on rice or popcorn or something for a couple of days. I mean, I've been there. <laughs> but um, yeah, not a great one to hear either. Hey. <sighs> These things are making me feel like life is very hard right now. <laughs> Ons moet praat. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Here's another one of those relationship shooters that we really don't like to hear. Um, even though sometimes they can be positive, you know, like we need to talk about moving in together or something like that. But since we're in this list we're going to assume that ons moet praat means that we're going to be seeing other people or something along those unfortunate lines. Jou kar is gesteel. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Definitely don't want to hear that one ever. It's a lot of money and a lot of issues and a lot of admin to get that fixed and get it back or get it found or get a new one or insurance or like, ugh, there's so many things that come with this stupid little sentence of yo car is gesteel. So pay a car guard or park in a parking lot or try not to put your car in a place where it can be stolen. <laughs> Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. What's that? Oh, thanks. I just assume that you return the compliment. But it's always something that we really like to hear, especially if it's coming from that person that we've got our eye on. Um, but it's also just nice to tell people. If you walk past someone and you think they're looking good, let them know that they look like goed vandaag. Because it's always nice to make someone else's day. Ik miss jou. I miss you. Ek miss jou. I miss you. Long lost friends, long lost lovers, parents in different countries, whatever. Today's world, we're all over the globe. Our friends live in China. Our brother lives in England. Today, it's really common to know people that live really, really far away from us. And it's nice to sometimes receive a message saying, oh, they miss you. But it's also really nice to send a message to let someone know that you miss them. So get that phone out. 
Think about that friend and let them know I miss you. Jy het a goeie werk gedoen. You did a great job. Jy het a goeie werk gedoen. You did a great job. That's always the best one you want to hear at school or at work because it means that you're on the right track, you're doing something good and at the end of the day, you might get rewarded. Daar sal a bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Daar sal a bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. If, like I said before, jy doen goeie werk, then maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it means you're going to get that bonus at the end of the month and you can go on that extra long Christmas holiday this year. So, keep up the goeie werk. Jy is a uitstekende kok. You are an excellent cook. Jy is a uitstekende kok. You are an excellent cook. Now, that's one that you want to say for when your parents come over for dinner for the first time in your new flat or you're inviting that boy over that you've had your eye on um, and you're cooking them a fancy dinner and it's the first time that you're using this new saucepan you bought yesterday and they tell you that and just, oh, what a relief. The food was great. The guy thinks it's great or your parents think it's great. Anyone is happy to know that their food is good because it means that you're going to get to enjoy it the most because you get to have your food every night. Fat a break. Ek sal vandag skoon maak. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Fat a break. Ek sal vandag skoon maak. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. That's the best to hear from your partner or your parents or your flatmate. What a great day it is when you get to just lounge on the sofa, watch some TV, catch up on those sports do anything you want, even some painting or crafting. If you don't have to do the cleaning up, make a mess. <laughs> no jokes, be nice because next time it is your turn and then you're going to have to clean up someone else's mess. So just enjoy the day off. Enjoy it when someone tells you that they'll be doing the cleaning because next minute it'll be your turn again. <laughs> en jy ven and you win. En jy ven. And you win. Whatever you're doing, whether it's Saturday night and you're playing board games or you're playing card games on the beach with some friends, it's always a great one to hear that you're the winner because it means that you did your best and you won. So you've earned it. Jy was rach. You were right. Jy was rach. You were right. You won that argument. You were right when you said that this was the case and they said that was the case. It's such a nice feeling. You get all bubbly inside when someone you've been arguing with or just made a point tells you that you were right. It's like the I told you so and it's the best feeling ever. Who doesn't love that? Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. What an exciting thing to hear. You've just come home, you've had a really long day and your friend's coming over and they tell you that they bought you something besonders. How exciting. Open it up straight away and just remember, if you don't like it, still look surprised because they think it's besonders. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. You've got an unlimited budget, an unbeperkte begroting to do whatever you want to make this party, this function, this shebang, the best one there is because you've got everything you need. You can get anything you want, go crazy and enjoy it while it lasts because it doesn't come around often. What do you feel like eating? What is jyles om te eet? What is jyles om te eet? What do you recommend? Wat stel jy voor? Wat stel jy voor? What do you want? Wat wil jy hee? Wat wil jy hee? What happened? Wat het gebeur? Wat het gebeur? What time does it open? Watter tyd maak dit oop? Watter tyd maak dit oop? What time is it? Wat is die tyd? Wat is die tyd? What would you like to drink? Wil jy graag iets sê om te drink? Wil jy graag iets sê om te drink? 
What's for dinner? What is for aunt eater? What is for aunt eater? What's the next stop? What is the volgende stop? What is the volgende stop? What's the temperature? What is the temperature? What is the temperature? Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello. 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 It's pretty straightforward. It's a greeting. It's what you say to everyone. It sounds the same as most languages, so it's pretty uh, an easy one to remember. Nice. Nice. News. I get by a goeie nice. I have very good news. I hope you have very goeie nice to tell me because if you do, it means you've learned the ch and the news, which is what makes that word a bit harder than others. So this one is e. You're going making this weird shape with your mouth. E. Goeie nice. Gebruik. Gebruik. Use. Kan ik jouw car gebruik? Can I use your car? This one's a little bit as awkward as that question because you don't really want to give someone else your car just in case something happens, but you do because you're a nice person and they're your friend. So this is that word. You you really want to learn it because it's the word for using any word. So the word is gebruik, the ch sound as before, and now we've added a new sound, oi, oi, gebruik. Rak, rak, shelf. The rak is full stuff. The shelf is full of dust. This word it has the it doesn't have the ch that we've been talking about, but now we've got a new sound in Afrikaans that a lot of people in different languages struggle with a little bit, and it's the rrr, as if your tongue is jumping up and down in your mouth. Rrr, rak. Bevar, bevar, to conserve. Bevar, to conserve. Die natuur moet bevar word. Nature needs to be conserved. We do, like I said before, we need to protect our planet, but we also need to conserve our planet. Make sure there's always some greenery around you. Make sure you support that local park or the gardens in the, next to the street and don't throw your rubbish there or make sure no one builds a house on a nice, beautiful mountain. We need to conserve our nature, conserve our animals and just make sure it's still there for our children and our grandchildren. People say these things all the time, but it's so true. You need to make sure that the future will still be able to have this beautiful world that we're living in right now. Seashell. This is a pink sea skull. This is a pink seashell. Well, as you can see, I do not have a pink seashell to show you. At the moment, it was very rough high tide here last night, so all the shells are a little bit under the sand and all over the place, and I couldn't really find a nice pink one to show you today. But I challenge you to go find me one and let me know later in the comments if you found a beautiful pink seashell, a beautiful pink sea skull. Swimbroek, swimsuit. I get a new swimbroek for I bought a new swimsuit. I did buy a new swimsuit at the beginning of the year when it was full time summer blazing in the sun all day, every day. Right now I'm not going to show you my swimsuit because like I said before it's super cold here and it's not my time to swim but it might be yours so go get your new swim brook and get in that water and splash around. Oceaan. Ocean. The Oceaan is mooi in blue vandaag. The ocean is nice and blue today. Well, it's, it is, I mean, I don't know if you can see very well, but it's beautiful and blue. A lot of those times where it's like spring tide or something and then the water goes all murky and brown and red, but not today and not most of the time. So 
if you're at the ocean, if you're at the strand, uh, have a look at the sea, see what color it is. Try to decipher what shade of blue it is. I love playing that game. And then you get everyone around you to say a color and then you actually search the color and see which one of you got the closest one. I never win. But um, it's, it's quite nice to notice the little things. So notice the actual color of the ocean water or the sand around you or even the plants and things on the tree. Like notice what their little leaves look like, what the little bird walking on the sand's little feet look like. These little little details really add to having the most wonderful, fulfilling beach day experience. So check out the sea, check if it's blue, and if it is, then the ocean is moy and blow. Gesondheid. Cheers. Gesondheid. Gesondheid. Cheers. Gesondheid. Kom eens krijg nog een. Gesondheid. Kom ons kry nog een. Cheers. Let's get another one. <laughs> so you're out. That's another thing we like doing here, especially after watching the Lions rugby. You go, oh, cheers, we won or we lost or whatever, however they're doing. And you go grab another because <laughs> why not? If not, why not? Liefde. Love. Liefde. Liefde. Love. My hond ken net liefde. My hond ken net liefde. My dog only knows love. Oh, that's so true. I mean, if you have a dog or a cat or any kind of pet that you have at the ho in the house all the time, it's so nice. Like, you can have an argument with anyone. You can have the worst day ever, but you know when you get home, you're going to get that cuddle. You're going to get that love from your little pet. Um, so hopefully your pets are as lovable as mine and your dogs also can net liefde. Donkey. Donkey. Thank you. Donkey. Thank you. So there we go again with the politeness. Be very kind and warm when someone tells you something or compliments you or gives you an answer to that as a belief question that you just ask. Say thanks. Say donkey. And if you can't remember the word, think of a donkey. That's how I always used to tell people. And then just change the, the sound a little bit because you can't say donkey. You must say donkey. Jij is welkom. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. So that's the response if someone said danke to you, you're obviously going to say you're welcome. Jij is welkom. Because it wasn't such a schlep for you to tell them what they wanted and you don't mind telling them. So jij is welkom. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Pretty straightforward. Yes. Positive response to something. So, pretty easy. Near. Near. No. Near. No. Also pretty straightforward, but try not to use it so much because it's going to be a downer on anyone. Unless it's something definitely that needs a no for a response. But, ya ja and near. Pretty easy going used quite often, so good ones to remember. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. It's very simple because it's the same as the English and most other languages, just like I said hello. Um, okay means, yeah, sure, okay, we'll do this, or okay, I'll have that for lunch, or okay, you make the plans. It's used every day in so many different ways, so it's easy to remember, okay. August. Augustus. Augustus. Atom. Harfs. Harfs. Back door. Achter dir. Achter dir. Backbone. Rugrat. Rugrat. Beautiful. Prachtig. Prachtig. Banana. Pisang. Pisang. Bandage. Verband. 
Verband. Barley. Chars. Chars. Basement. Kelder. Kelder. Bathe. But. But. Bathroom. But comer. But comer. Be late. Lot vis. Lot vis. Beard. Bart. Bart. Beautiful. Prachtig. Prachtig. Bed. Bit. Bit. Want to transform your driving time into language learning time? How much time do you spend in your car every day? 30 minutes? More than an hour? Why not put this huge amount of time to good use? Instead of just listening to the radio during your daily commute, you could be learning a new language instead. Here are three easy methods for learning a language in your car. You can put them to use right away with the help of our language learning program. First, you can listen to fun audio lessons by real teachers. Listening to lessons while in the car allows you to focus on the road as you listen and learn. In every one of our three to 15 minute lessons, our teachers teach you conversations, new phrases, and cultural points. Audio is the only learning medium that lets you learn and drive safely at the same time. So take advantage of all our audio lessons available. Second, you can set your lessons on autoplay and go hands-free. Our autoplay feature lets you keep your hands on the wheel without even reaching for your device. Just set your lessons to autoplay one by one with our Innovative Language 101 app and never have to interrupt your focus on driving to switch to a new lesson. Third, you can repeat out loud and speak from your very first lesson. You want to speak a new language too, right? Well, you'll start learning conversations minutes into your lessons. All you have to do is listen and repeat out loud. Our teachers take you step by step through all of the words, phrases, translations, and grammar points. You're even prompted to speak out loud and repeat. The result? You understand it all and can speak your new language. Turn your commute into language learning time and have fun at the same time. Learning doesn't have to be a big commitment, like signing up for a college class. It can be fun and easy. In fact, it's as easy as pressing play. Our language learning programs will do the work for you. And with the exposure you get while driving on your daily commute, you'll be speaking and understanding real life language quickly. The best part? You can finally learn without even changing your schedule. So if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule. Very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. 
three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city?
Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. Far sight van die stad. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Achste rij, sitplek C. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Publieke vakantie daar, derde zondag van elke maand. You are at a bus stop where you're waiting for the 301 bus. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display What does the message on the display The display reads, the next train will not stop. Die 301 bus stop nie hier nie. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.